Quarter past six this morning, we continue our Tejano Moment series with a familiar name in Texas history, Colonel Francisco Ruiz. He devoted most of his life to the growth and development of his hometown, San Antonio, Texas. GMSA producer Rosalind Jimenez has the story. He's part of many families, Vermendis, Navarros, that are um, leading families here in San Antonio and in Texas for since 1690. By the end of the 18th century, a new generation of Tejano families around Texas were born, including right here in San Antonio. Together, Juan Ruiz and Manuela de la Peña had a total of six children, one of which would later be known in history as Colonel Francisco Ruiz. He was born in the heart of downtown and baptized at the San Fernando Cathedral. The home he grew up in was actually built in the mid-1700s, the same time as the construction of the Spanish governor's palace. At that time, San Antonio revolved around two plazas, Plaza de las Armas y de las Islas. Rudy Rodriguez, a local historian and founder of TexasTejano.com, says Ruiz's life was full of adventure both in the city and on frontier ranches. He was on his father's ranch learning about uh, farming and ranching and how to handle animals and how to ride and uh, know about weaponry and about survival on the frontier. That well-rounded expertise would prepare him to later serve in the local militia and famed Compañías Volantes, also known as the Light Calvary. When it came to his education, Rodriguez says Ruiz started here in San Antonio, but was later sent overseas to Spain to get a formal education. This was something commonly done at that time. It's believed that while in Europe, he was exposed to the Age of Enlightenment sweeping through the area at that time, as well as an embracement of democracy. He, in fact, uh, ironically ends up being a, a school teacher to begin with when he returns from uh, Spain. It's Over the span of several years, beginning in 1803, Ruiz would be appointed the first head school master of the city, be elected regidor, a city councilman, appointed assistant city attorney, and eventually city attorney. Francisco Ruiz uh, was an educated man for his period of time. Rosalind Jimenez, KSAT 12 News.